Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and this video I'm gonna show you how to build a good shadow cave uh, because I've seen many many videos and base builds and whatnot about shitty ones um, so I think it's time for a good one now this is built for uh, official and small tribes um, I don't know about conquest but probably that too so we're gonna start off with the main turret wall with the crouch spot so you have a uh, middle turret wall like for main defense in the front Pretty simple, make sure it's f further in the back like that so you cannot run it. So may if you want to test out if it's rocket runnable, just go to the crouch spot, do one jump and if you don't reach it's not rocket runnable. If you reach it's rocket runnable. I tested it out on 180 movement, you can test it out on more if you want to. Um, but probably on like 200 movement it's not ru runnable as well. Um, so you have a uh, turret one on the left to support the one in the middle. Pretty simple. I made turrets here to boost you through the wall. So even if you have like 300 movement speed, for example, you make like a 150 character, like 155, and pump like 300 HP. Um, have kept flak beer and the rest just movement speed, and you have like 10 people running this. You they might get through, but that's just for some uh, defense um, to boost you. Then you have this turret which is really important facing the crouch spot so that people crouching through the crouch spot are fo forced to instant run or go back and not have the ability to spot or anything because this turret will shoot them other than that even if people manage to throw turtles in they're gonna get shredded and even if they pump like 20 turtles or something like really really big amount of turtles because Big tribes, they have like hundreds of turtles because they're like easy to make and shit, you know. So you have this wall they have to soak. Um, so make sure to put most of your ammo into those ones. Um, kept the heavies and get a good amount of shards into the into the tech turrets, even though it's ab and it's hard, but you know. Um, you can support it with velos, but in this build I didn't build it for velos, so yeah, just just with turrets. So you have time to get on and see through the reaper. Um, I, I put two turrets here so you cannot just run but I would suggest put aggressive megalos and raptors in here anyways so if you even there with the, like 10 people and megalos and to meet and all this it's gonna take you a long long time and the raptors room you can either put a greenhouse or something but I would suggest putting aggressive spinos again um, because that's gonna fuck you if you try to jump down you don't have gigas here to meet run so it's gonna be hard um, yeah. Uh, water turret wall, like front part, pretty easy. You can have one wall if you fit it, but I didn't fit it in this one, so I built a second tower supporting this here. Um, obviously wall drop it, but I didn't do it because I was too lazy, but make sure you wall drop the pillars. Uh, make fan supports here so you cannot just jump in there with a the mana. And yeah, you have those turrets up here so even if you blow all the compartments um, you cannot chill in there and scout for the defense so you so you get shot then you have to the compartments pretty simple just a three by three um, by four I believe yeah by four um, you just put the turrets in the corners so um, yeah that's gonna make it harder to trade uh, even if you have a rock drake with tech saddle and you just swim up here and glitch and shoot it and shoot it and shoot it you still have that shit so you can obviously not do that without destroying those so you'd have to get racers in and shit to destroy that first and that's gonna get you a lot more pain um, then you have just some spam if you want you can wall drop all of this I don't really care it's up to you what spam you wanna put in there you can even leave it leave it out but I put um, compartments in they got 50k HP and even though it's cave damage um, it's some C4 and our tech rifle and whatnot, and it will show in the tribe block once destroyed as well as those cliff plats over here um, so yeah just put two cliff plats so you can't swim in there with the racer um, then spam off the rest with triangle foundations all the way up as well as cliffs put cliffs outside as well and spam the bottom of the ocean like of this of the lake with um, foundations triangles wha what you want to do 
and then have your cliffs around here. You can put as many as you want, I just put a view towers all the way around. Destroy your TPs, you're basically locked in the cave and if you don't have another server where you can get stuff from, um, yeah, they're gonna drain your resources and you're gonna run out of element and it's gonna be really fucked and in the end you're gonna lose to that, um, to that fob. Even if you're online. But if if this is not your only server, you, you don't need to worry, but I would suggest not being fucked here. So, um... Yeah, this is the build I came up and I built for my tribe. Um, I think I built it on two servers. Yeah, I built it on two servers for two tribes. And yeah, it was always good and it, and it worked. So, um, I mean, um, it's good for my opinion. Um, you can leave your opinions down in the comments below if you want to. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more of those bases like for other caves and other spots, um, write in the comments down below. Yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed and see you in the next one.